Hi, you guys. So, I know y'all have been asking me for a flower tutorial. And so, I'm going to give y'all one that's kind of fun and simple. And y'all can do this at home. Now, you know I'm in Kansas City. So, um, back in Kentucky, we have warehouses full of stuff. I'm, I don't have access to that now. So, I'm kind of doing like y'all are going to have to do at the house. I'm just digging and scrounging and scratching and seeing what I can come up with. So, a, um, a girl a while back sent me an inbox and said that... <clears throat> She had a um, mantle and kind of wanted to know what she could do with that for a wedding. But you don't have to, I mean, if you're not having a wedding, if you're having a dinner party, uh, you know, a social gathering, and you want to put some fresh flowers on the mantle or whatever you want to do, I'll kind of show you what, just a something fun you can do. Now, listen, I've got random things. I've got a few flowers. I've got some fruit. Um, we'll, we'll mow some houseplants down. And listen, here's the thing with flowers. If it grows, I use it. In the summertime, I love to go out in the yard, cut flowers, cut bushes, cut trees, whatever it is. Crab out hedge apples, they're so fun to use. If it grows, use it. Another thing, your florist, a lot of times florists will say, oh, we can't get this and we can't get that. Here's the deal, y'all. They can. They don't want to. So, um, if you're looking for a certain flower, go to your flower shop and just say, yes, you can and I want this. Now, some things are seasonal. Um, but as a whole, generally you can pretty much get whatever you want all through the year. So, okay, y'all ready for this? Oh, I need an apron, don't I? So what I did, um, I didn't have any trays here for flowers, so I just got regular plates, okay? And then you just take wet foam, and I already got some of these done. I'll take wet foam and, and just cut it to the, to the position, uh, to the size that you need, okay? And I don't have flower sticks, kebab sticks. Um, and if you don't have kebab sticks, you can use a flower stem or a tree branch. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Um, this is called anchor tape. You can buy this at your, at your flower shop, local flower shop. If you don't want to do that, duct tape works just as well, okay? So you just tape that around so it won't come off. And then once you put the sticks on here, that keeps your tape from going through your phone, okay? So, so now I've got my plates. And I'm just going to set these up here. Just kind of space them out. And y'all, I don't know what the heck I'm doing either. So we're just going to, we're going to go with the flow. How's that? Um, now then, another thing I wanted to show y'all. Do y'all remember all that old Christmas greenery? I tell y'all not to throw away. You know, the old hook kind. I'm going to use this because this will kind of save you money if you're on a budget. If you're working on a budget, this will help kind of save some money. And this is just a fill-in. This will be at the bottom. And no, you don't want anybody to see these. And by the time we get everything in there, you'll understand why. So, if you'll just take these little green Christmas greens and set those around. I look how much that helps. All right, y'all, I don't know how to tell you to do flowers. What you're going to have to do is um, go back in the video, maybe pause it, slow down, and look and kind of see what I've done. I start out with Leatherly. Now, if you don't have Leatherly, run outside and cut you some tree branches with some big leaves on it because they work just as well if you're in the summer. Here's the thing. Yesterday it was 70 degrees in Kansas City. Today it's snowing. I don't know whether to put a fur coat on or a pair of pedal pushers or culottes. It's ridiculous for, for real. Okay. So, now then, I just take this and I start filling in. I'm going to go all the way across this with the leather leaf. And this is just a base, okay? And you'll kind of see what I'm doing. Look how fast this is. Now I feel you start going across that Christmas greenery and see how it starts to disappear. Isn't that pretty cool, for real? Let some hang down, let some stand up. Go across the front, go across the side. And y'all, anybody can do this at home, okay? This is, this is something you can do at home. It's really simple. There's a million different ways you could do this. But I'm working with what I have, and 
that's what you have to do at home. So. Now listen, don't worry about hose. I mean, like if you see hose in there, you can go back in and fill with something else, okay? So next thing I'm gonna do, probably, um, this is just palm leaf. I got these from the wholesaler. But y'all know the palms that are at Walmart, the big potted palms? Take those and cut them down. Same thing, save you some money, okay? This is salau or lemon leaf, I love this. This is a really good filler. So I'm just gonna, actually, I'm just gonna break these. Do you see how this is? Here's what you wanna do. You want some of these to hang out, and then some not to. And you're just kind of randomly placing these. And when you get done, it'll all look like you'll know what I'm saying. Now, I like this one, see how that one is? I like that like that, so I'll leave that long. And I'll put that one right there. See how that starts to hang down there? This one I like. And this one I love. Uh, let's see, go for this one right here. Now flowers are very hardy. People act like they're tender, and they kind of are, but listen. Flowers, most flowers, if you go outside, they grow outside, they live through a tornado. You don't have to be super careful, but uh, kind of make them do what you want to do, and they will. If you have soft stem flowers, you can bend those flowers without breaking them, okay? I have no clue what I'm doing, I swear. I'm just doing this as I go. Hopefully this will turn out good. Because by golly, I'm not redoing re re this video. Thank y'all so much for liking my videos and stuff. Y'all know I'm just a big nut, I don't care. I like to have fun. Okay, so I just randomly put these in there. Isn't it fun? Now, I swear to God, y'all, for real, I love greenery arrangements. You could just, if you didn't have money for flowers, get your tails out there in the yard. Get your cutters and start mowing down your bushes. Because greenery is gorgeous. I love to use greenery. It's probably one of my most favorite things, honestly. See how these leaves are? They're kind of popped up. Bend these leaves around. Make these flowers do what you want them to. Make this greenery. There we go. Okay. And they don't have to be perfect. Your leaves, if you have spots in them, if you go outside and cut things, it's okay. They don't have to be a perfect flower. Flowers don't grow perfectly, y'all. As good as we make them look, we have to peel petals and twist leaves and cut stuff, and, and, and that's how you get it. That's how you get it working. Okay, next thing we'll do. I love this palm, isn't this cool? Now, you should always cut your flowers at an angle. I've already pre-cut mine, to, uh, just to save time for the video, so look. We'll start adding these big palm leaves in. And I'll start in the middle. So we'll do one like that. Then we'll put one up here. And then we'll bring one this way. And we'll do one that way. If y'all have a marital problem, fix you up a mantle. Cook a cook dinner. Throw some candles on here. I love to have a party. If y'all get divorced, it's okay too. Call me anyway. We'll throw a divorce party. How's that? You can marry him if it don't work. Call me. We'll throw another party. Whatever makes you happy makes me happy. Now y'all, look how fast I'm doing this. There is no rhyme or reason to this. Don't be scared to do flowers. Just play around with flowers. Mix and match. Pull out. Put in. Now, if you pull up, if you put a stem of flowers in, of uh, fresh flowers, and it goes down in oasis. If it has to stay there. If you pull it back out, that's what causes your flowers to die because that, that gets a little piece in there and it can't drink water. So if you push in and pull out, cut your stem again and stick it back down in there and leave it, okay? Okay, so we got those in there. Next we're gonna do, 
This is called Myrtle. I love this stuff. It kind of looks like boxwood a little bit, but not hardly. Oh, Fargo Myrtle. I love Myrtle. And I just break this. Okay? And let me tell y'all something. If you're doing fresh flowers and you're doing them in vases, leaves is what causes flowers to die. They rot and that kills flowers. So when you're putting stems of flowers down in vases, strip them like that if they're going down directly in water, okay? If not, it's okay. Now look here. I love this house plant. I love the color and the shape of this greenery. Y'all take your pair of scissors. Whack this stuff down. Somebody asked me, because I do have a green thumb, and somebody said, how do you get your flowers so big? How do you get your potted flowers big? Y'all, I water them. That's what y'all ain't doing. Isn't that a gorgeous leaf? That is so pretty. Off of a little house plant that you can pick up at a grocery store. Okay, now watch what this does. This is gonna add some fun. Look at here, peace lilies, these are great. I've used peace lilies for years. We'll just, and you don't have to fill this in. These are peace lilies are good fillers, I think. Or a good focal point. You focal point, whatever you're gonna do. But look what if you had um, look how much a peace lily has. Alright, y'all. So here's what I'm gonna do. Y'all know me, I use everything. So I'm gonna add some watermelon to this just because I love the color, okay? So excuse me while I try to cut this thing. Let me grab a butcher knife. Now the thing, if you're using fruit, and I use fruit in lots of centerpieces, I love fruit, I do. Now fruit does kill flowers, but if you're having a wedding over the weekend, it'll be fine, okay? Uh, if you're using watermelon, and I don't have time for this, you need to let these drain. I, will, I cut these and let these drain for a day, that way they're not running all over tablecloths or something like that, okay? So, take you a couple sticks. So I like that one right there, okay? Do y'all like to eat watermelon? By golly, I do. We'd sit outside in the summer. We'd take the salt shakers with us, y'all. I'd take the salt shaker to the, gar to the garden. Great. Okay, next thing I'm gonna use Cantaloupe. I love me some cantaloupe. And salt again. Y'all, I need to lay out the salt. Now then, I like to leave, let's see if I cut this way. I think I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna go long ways on this one. Now look how this is. I leave seeds and all in there. I love all that. I think it adds so much texture and fun to a centerpiece. Now, I did these one time for a lady, and she hated it. You know, the, no, those that know, they think, think they know what they're doing, they don't have a clue. I've worn that one out. Now, how cute is that looking, y'all? We've turned this old, ugly mantle into something absolutely adorable. Just stuffing flowers in there. So now I've got tulips. These grow easy. Gerbers, you can grab these at your local florist. They were gonna throw these tulips away at Walmart. Why? Let me have them, I'll use them. I got some carnations. A lot of y'all think these are funeral flowers, and they're not. You can get some gorgeous carnations, you guys, for real. 
if you're just having a quick overnight party, you can buy dump roses. Now they're gonna throw they were gonna throw these roses away today. I got these for five cents a piece, y'all. Look, you can't even tell, really. Now they won't make it for a long time, but anyway, okay. So I'm just gonna start uh, stuffing roses. All right. Now listen, girls. If y'all are working, if you're having a wedding, you have to work within your budget. And I know everybody wants an unlimited budget, but and everybody doesn't have it, and that's okay. Um, the more money you have, yes, the more you can do. But if you don't have a ton of money, work within your budget. Do not, you know, don't try to do what someone else is, is doing. Um, if you have a small budget, that just means you have to get more creative. And if you get creative, you can have a fun look for a little of nothing, okay? Now, I'm not advocating cheap everything, because y'all know me, I like to spend some money. But anyway, I do, um, I understand how it is in life, for real. Okay, so now I'm going to do a couple longer ones. So now we'll start doing them all this way. And then go down, kind of do depth, like stick some out, stick some in, okay? So go in and put some in closer. Okay. Now then, tulips. Tulips are soft skins. I love tulips. I probably should have stuck these in first, but I didn't. Now listen to me, y'all. I'm literally working with nothing. At home, I have all of this at my fingertips, and I have nothing here, so I'm just pulling this off. I'm flying by the seat of my pants. But by golly, look how adorable this is looking. Carnations. Now listen, you have I, you have to make your carnations open up. Bless them out like that. Because they come in like this. Just bend them back. Unfortunately, in the flower industry, we say we have to give a flower, flower uh, carnations a blowjob. This kind. We might want to edit that out. The point is, from the time it took for y'all to sit and watch this video, y'all could have had a mantelpiece done. Isn't that cool? Y'all can really, for real, just throw one of these together. Do y'all look at this for real? I have taken a bunch of junky, junky flowers. I do not like a lot of these flowers. But look how pretty this has turned out. Look how cute this is going to be. Okay, so now I'm going to do, I'll throw some red roses in there. I'm going to probably do these in a little bit closer. And I don't know how to tell y'all to do flowers. I just have to do it until it looks right. You know what I'm saying? If you got a hoe, fill it in. Don't know I get that twisted. Y'all, when I was doing weddings, <clears throat> I told y'all I'd use everything that grows. So I would have, we would have four or five vans in a row headed to do weddings, and I would see something on the side of the road, <coughs> flowers flying around in the back. But you know what my girls did? They knew when I slammed on those brakes, everybody was piling out of vehicles uh, with their cutters because we was going to mow something down and throwing in some centerpieces. Okay, and kind of the reason I'm doing this style is because <clears throat> this is not really designed for us. This is just throwing stuff together. The more you put in these, the better it looks, okay? So I'm known for all kinds of funky, crazy stuff, and I love to do that. But this is just something simple, for real. It's just like the more you stuff, the better it looks, really, okay? So don't y'all freak out over this. This is easy, easy, easy to do. If a stem doesn't work somewhere, put it somewhere else. Like this right here is driving me crazy. I need a flower right there. There we go. 
I do not have a sweet tooth, and here lately, I have taken to eating sweets. I want y'all to look. My gut's starting to hang over my belt. And instead of just stopping and doing what I'm supposed to do, I keep eating them donuts. Next, Gerber daisies. Now I've had my Gerbers out of water. I love Gerbers, y'all. Now here's the thing. See how that's bent? Don't try to bend this. Try to work with it. Put it in like this and let it hang like that, okay? Lyatris, I love this stuff. I used to grow this in my yard. I'm gonna do these right in the middle. How fun is this for real, guys? Look how fast y'all can do a centerpiece. I better see some of these. Y'all better post some pictures because I know some of y'all's going to be having time to try it. This is called Solid Echo. Sorry. I love this stuff. Listen, I love to entertain. Y'all know that. And I, have, I used to have dinner parties all the time. I had them for a while, but I'm going to get back into it. So, listen. This stuff takes a little bit of work. Yes. But it's little things like this that makes your party memorable. Go the extra mile, you all. If you're having a dinner party, do some fabulous hors d'oeuvres. You know what I'm saying? Don't do a tomato. Add some cream cheese and uh, an olive. Or, you know, just little, little bitty details is what makes your party... Listen, when you're entertaining, you really are entertaining your guests. This isn't just for you. You're giving them, you're giving them an experience. So this takes a little bit longer, but who wouldn't like to come into a party and see this, for real? I mean, it takes five minutes just to throw something together. Y'all entertain, get out there and live life. By golly, I am. I don't know where I'm going or what's going on, but I'm living it up. Okay, so then when you get off, when you get this far, I always put oranges in there, and you can slice these or not. I'm not going to take time to do that. Um, grab you a few oranges, put a stick in there. Look how cute that is, and y'all, this smells so good. A few little oranges. Aren't y'all glad I did this video? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Throw a few apples in there. Okay guys, look. Just a humble jumble, just a real quick, just a little nothing. This didn't take any time to do. Just grab you some greens out of your yard. Grab some flowers that you have. The more you stuff in there, the better they do. Now then, I'm known for high style design and all that. And, so, and we'll do a tutorial on that coming up soon. But listen, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you have a great mantelpiece. Maybe 30, okay? Honestly. But it didn't take no time to do. Listen, I'm wore ass out and I'm tired. <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres, I need you to focus and pay attention here, okay? Oprah Winfrey, hello. I want to give you a flower and you a flower and you a flower. Y'all got it? Okay, listen, I love you guys so much, for real. Y'all, we can change the world one flower pot at a time. I hope this helped you. I hope you got some great ideas off of this. Um, the girl that sent this to me wanted to know what to do on her mantle for a wedding. This is a great idea. This is fast, quick, simple, and easy. So, guys, y'all have a good night. I'll see you later. I'm going to try to do a high kick, and I'm probably going to throw a hip out. I ain't never I came in like a